Hey, what's going on everyone? Planet Zoo discussion. So, uh, GamesCon ended last week, as we probably all know. It's been, it's been, it was awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of YouTubers have been doing recaps on all of GamesCon for Planet Zoo, and though I, I wanted to do that, I decided I'd do something a little different, and that is picking out, in my personal opinion, the six greatest things that were confirmed for Planet Zoo during, this game, during GamesCon. So it does talk a lot about most of the things that were confirmed. Um, but, you know, my personal opinion, the six, specifically the six greatest, and also in the correct order, in my opinion, of the greatest, the least greatest. So it's kind of odd, but I figured just shake it up a little bit. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to really talk, no reason of explaining it, hopefully it makes sense, so I say we just begin. Let's start with number six. So, for me, number six was protesters. Confirmed through the YouTuber live streams, it turns out there will actually be people in your zoo protesting your exhibits, which is really awesome. I mean, who was expecting that? Uh, now, this is something that do does appear in zoos, especially big zoos, when... And people just have sometimes issues with the exhibits. I mean, it doesn't really happen too much anymore. I mean, people, zoos only try and make the best exhibits today. Well, sort of. But um, it only it's only going to happen when the animal's welfare is low. Last I checked from what they confirmed. But uh, protesters, I mean, they're going to walk around with actual signs. Of, I mean, there's so far I've seen the tiger in a cage sign, the monkey in a cage sign. I'm pretty sure I also saw an elephant sign. There was just, it was, some, it was really awesome. I mean, that's just so cool. That's real. It just adds more issue. It adds more stress, you could say. People actually protesting your zoo. I think that's really cool. So, uh, protesters. Alright, number five. Walkabout exhibit. So this was, this at first was kind of confusing to me. I didn't, I honestly didn't believe this is what it was until people started actually building walkabout exhibits. Like, Best and Slot did it. Rudy, uh, Ren Camel did it. Both great YouTubers. Definitely have been in this uh, in gaming uh, way longer than I have, but anyway, walkabout exhibits. It's awesome. I uh, keep saying awesome, but it is true. This also does give me great hope to see the red kangaroo, because that's red kangaroo or kangaroos in general, or even wallabies are like perfect for walkabout exhibits in zoos. So I'm really happy to see that. And what we saw is, uh, well, you place down the gates, right? Uh, along the barriers, people will actually walk in and and uh, well walk through and without any issues. Except there are issues actually. For so it works for some animals and doesn't work for others. And I was actually worried at first that we could suddenly just have a tiger in there and everything would be a okay. But it obviously it won't. Uh, on Best and Slots live stream, when people walked in, they panicked because there was a warthog in there. So it, it but uh, animals like the lemurs, they didn't. So I'm pretty sure whatever animal could pose a threat to humans, people will be upset, and they'll actually still go in there. But as soon as they notice, they're gonna run out on uh, to the way they were planning on going. They're not gonna run out from the way they came. So uh, I'm not, you know, things like tigers obviously are not meant for the walkabout exhibits, as it really would be in a zoo. So. But still, things like the Indian peafowls we know work, the Aladabra giant tortoise, it's cool. It, it, it's real. Uh, these are typical things you do find in zoos, and I'm really happy to see walkabout exhibits included in Planet Zoo. So, next is number four. That is the beta access. So, for me, the beta access was one of the most important things to look forward to during Gamescom. And we did hear the release date and everything like that. Now, the reason why it's not higher on this list is because the release date is just a little disappointing for me. I'm really happy about it. I'm very happy to get my hands on it. But I'm just, I was just a little surprised and a little disappointed about the fact that we only have two weeks to play. I mean, I'm fine with it at the end. Um, it just means it gives, a, it gives Frontier time to see what they need to improve on before the official launch. But still, beta access, we do know what's in it now, and it is pretty cool. I mean, we got the two for, we got two maps to play on, the franchise mode, the first scenario one of the camp, uh, yeah, campaign mode. It's, it's awesome. And I keep saying that's awesome, but it's true. This game is just so awesome. Still, beta access, I'm pretty happy about it, I just would have liked a little bit longer time to play. Oh well, moving on, number three, the building system. So, we finally can now see how things, how the game, you know, it works, it's built 
um, piece by piece, just like Planet Coaster. You can shift um, objects into other objects. It's it's a really powerful thing, and uh, I was really happy with it in Planet Coaster. It's good to see it here. But more specifically, in this case, the building system, I'm talking about the barriers. Now, at first, I was honestly a little disappointed with the barriers. They seem a little complicated. Um, I was a little worried that all the barriers were going to be the same heights, and the heights could only be changed a little bit, but luckily, uh, YouTubers like Rudy Runcamo, when he did his um, barriers tutorial live stream, and they, him, uh, Lady Designer, Silver, all great YouTubers who are definitely um, looking forward to playing Planet Zoo like I am, are, did a full tutorial on what, um, what you can actually do with the barriers, and it actually turned out to be way more controllable than I thought, which is good because I started look I started feeling a little disappointed about that, but I'm I am happy with it overall. You could add glass, you could raise. I was I'm really happy you could really raise the height. Like for example, during the uh, live stream that Frontier did, that I will be doing an analysis of. I, it's extremely late video. It was I should have done this today. It actually came out, but I've just been busy. And uh, it's, I just, obviously I'm not going to do a tutorial, I'm not going to do an analysis of YouTuber live streams, and I didn't get to play the game myself, of course, because I'm only 15, how can I just go to Germany? But I do want to give my own personal opinion on everything that we've seen when it comes to building-wise through an analysis of their live stream, from Frontier's live stream. And uh, from there, I was, for example, when we saw the tiger exhibit, and the walls were, they were, sh they worked with the tigers, but to me, it doesn't work for me. I, I was worried that the height was only limited to, you know, what the what it was for the tigers, and that was like concerning because that does not look real. But we really we have a whole lot of control over the entire barriers. We could really raise them. We can have uh, one-way glass or glass. We can change the what the shape of the glass is. We could add curves to the top of the barrier. It's really cool. Uh, I do hope. I mean, there was a variety of barriers to use. I hope it's just a little bit more. Um, but overall, I think the barriers are pretty good. It was not exactly what I was expecting, but I'm happy with it. Still, it is easily one of the biggest things um, confirmed. I mean, we I mean we knew about the barriers since actually E3, but really this was the first time we actually got to see how it works, and I'm happy with it. So, number two, veterinarians. So, during E3, they really showcased the zookeepers. And, uh, well, this time they were showcased the veterinarians, and we really did see a lot of the veterinarians. I, I'm really happy with what we can do. I'm actually really surprised. Veterinarians and zookeepers are pretty much the two most important staff for our zoos. We have to have them, and we really, and they, they really do play is such an important role in our zoos. Um, and what's really amazing to me is the zookeeper, the veterinarian, sorry, will actually take animals, sick or injured, even dead animals, not dead right now, but in this case, sick or injured animals, and we'll actually take them into a veterinary clinic, actually place them on a table. I mean, you won't see them actually place it. The animal will magically appear on the table, but it's really incredible. And uh, they'll, they'll have like a, what, a little tablet, I think it was, and actually study the animals. And apparently, and there is a veterinarian developer journal that came out not too long ago, and I'm also going to do an analysis of that when I get the time, it's actually pretty cool, but it's really incredible, it's, it feels really real, they're literally taking the animals and bringing them into a clinic, and we can actually see the animals in the clinic, I think that's awesome, I think that's really cool, veterinarians, so important, and it was great confirmation to see more of, I mean, we knew about them since E3, but we never really got to see them, and it's great to see and confirm things like the fact that they will actually literally take the animals into the clinics, which still is surprising me to now. Um, so yeah, veterinarians. Uh, now before we move on to number one, I do want I do want to do a dishonorable mention. That's right. There is one thing that was confirmed during GamesCon that I was not happy about. I know it's hard to believe that anyone could be upset about anything in this game, and I am so unbelievably psyched for this game. You have no idea. I check my phone every single day for news. But um, truly, there is one thing I was a little disappointed about, and that is with the vivariums. Uh, there is limited. There is limited stuff to the vivariums, and I'm okay with that. My main problem was the fact that all the vivarium animals are going to have the exact same tank size. size. It'll be different within each tank, which is good, but um, still, all of them are going to have the same size tank. We saw the Goliath Bird Eater, Tarantula, and the Titan Beetle with the same size tank, 
as the anaconda and our boa constrictors and iguanas. You know, and that to me just is weird. I understand we can shift uh, objects into the vivariums, make it smaller if we want to, but it's still just it's weird. If the titan beetles up against or at the very bottom of or inside of a log, we saw the Goliath bird eater in a log. How could we possibly? I, I don't know. My mind's having a tough time figuring it out, but I'm just kind of a little. I don't know. I I'm thinking it's it surprised me. I was worried about it, but it is true that our animals or for very animals are all going to have the same size tank, and I really feel like that's kind of a disappointment. I mean, I doubt they would change it by launch, but it's you know they're all going to have the same size tank. We can change the size by shifting things into it, but it still feels weird. Uh. Also, this is my own personal opinion, I do not expect desert vivariums. It appears that they're all going to be tropical, which is also concerning. Because desert and tropical vivariums are like... There's really only two biomes, and that is desert and tropical, but it only appears to be tropical. And that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. How, so things like Gila monsters. Can we actually have Gila monsters? I guess not. Which stinks. So I don't really know. Then again, I feel like, well, I feel like they would have shown it by now. So that's not really a confirmation, but it's something that I'm also worried about. So vivariums, though, I'm still really happy about them, and I still cannot wait to start um, building my own reptile uh, hallways. That's an idea I thought of. Reptile hallways, reptile sanctuary, whatever. I just are not perfect. The vivariums are definitely not perfect, and it can only be improved, right? Still, that was just one thing. Um, still happy about it, though. Anyway, number one for me. The greatest thing confirmed, as it is, has been confirmed since the beginning, are the animals. I know, cheesy, but I'm talking about the new animal confirmations. The animals are the biggest part about this game. It's a zoo game, and you know, more animals being confirmed through Gamescom to me is the most important thing. Whenever it comes to news, I'm always up for the animal news. More animals, just more and more animals. Because I want my, I want the roster to be healthy, and so far it looks healthy. But I'm a little, I reckon by now they've only revealed like half of all the animals in the game, yet there's only two months left. I don't know how they're going to do this. They're probably just going to save a crap ton of animals for very launch day, which is weird, but oh well. Still, um, yeah, animals. There was a lot of animal confirmations, and I'd like to talk about them all right now. So I, I do have an old and outdated video where I, this is from the first day of GamesCon, I did all eight animals revealed that day. Uh, like I said, outdated, now it's like up to 11, perhaps 12. Uh, and I'd just like to quickly go over them, really, yeah, go over them really quickly, updated. So, first off, you know, even though this wasn't technically a Gamescon reveal, it was to me, it was within Gamescon, it was just at the edge of Gamescon time, and I just see Borny and Orangutan, one of the biggest animal reveals. And like I said, it wasn't revealed during Gamescon, it was revealed for World Orangutan Day, but it was literally the day before, and they did use it again in other Gamescon uh, things like the uh, Gamescon trailer, you know, so it feels like a Gamescon animal for me. So Borny and Orangutan, still love it, don't have any problems with it. I know other people do with the fur and whatnot, but I think it looks truly magnificent. I cannot wait to see how they climb. So yeah, and then the other two big, another two big animal reveals are the common ostrich. Very happy with the common ostrich. I think it looks great. They had to have revealed a new animal, a new bird. Sorry, this month. I mean, we only knew about the Indian peafowl. It's great to finally see another bird, and I'm really happy with the ostrich. Uh, and then also another big animal reveal, tagging in with the ostrich, the warthog. Definitely one of the biggest. Um, keep seeing the warthog. It looks great. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with the baby models of the warthogs. They, they look good. Warthog, totally expected it, and I'm really happy with uh, the, the final product. I mean, of course, it's not final, but I think it's already good enough. So, uh, those three, along with, also, for vivarium-wise, the uh, Lehem's Poi- Oh, actually, I have to forget a couple. Okay, I, let's just talk about the vivariums right now. The Lehem's Poison Frog, or something like that. I've reverse amphibian reveal. Saw that during the Gamescom trailer and also YouTube live streams, everyone's seen it by now. It's really cool, I'm happy, you know, first amphibian, first frog, I think it's beautiful. And uh, probably gonna be one of the smallest herbarium animals, definitely seems like it, but uh, you know, frogs. 
And uh, also the yellow anaconda. That was really cool. Happy about the yellow anaconda. I did. I, everyone. Keep, um, some people have pointed out in my you know outdated animal reveal list that I forgot about the anaconda. It is in there. I just mentioned it at the very end. Still, anaconda. I think it's specifically yellow anaconda. That is a little surprising, but it does probably fit it better than the green anaconda because green anaconda is the world's largest snake. So seeing an herbarium is wouldn't work as well. But oh well. So yellow anaconda. Yellow anaconda, that's awesome. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of rambling on. Uh, invertebrates. I just had a pretty good feeling we'd be seeing uh, invertebrates, and we saw two new uh, invertebrates. The uh, Goliath, Birdie, or Tarantula. Now, I'm not surprised if they had to go for more spiders. That feels like a good candidate. We've already known about the Brazilian one and spiders since the beginning, and still have not seen it. But Goliath Birdator, that's really cool. We didn't really get a, I didn't, for all the live, YouTuber live streams I saw, I never really saw a good look at it. But we did see a great look at the other invertebrate reveal, the Titan Beetle, which was kind of a surprise. I didn't, a Titan Beetle never crossed my mind, but I'm happy to see it. It actually does look really good. I used it in my, as my thumbnail in my previous video. I, I like it. The Titan Beetle is cool. Um, also, uh, no, that's it for vivariums. I'm sorry. That's yeah, that's it for vivariums. But more animals that I forgot uh, that are not vivarium are the snow leopard revealed through the uh, live streams. The snow leopard is one. It's the second. In my even before it was revealed, I knew it was the second most wanted animal for me, uh, other than the okapi, which is number one. The snow leopard is my favorite feline. I'm really happy to see it in the game, and it looks terrific in my opinion. Um, Speaking of the Okapi, we'll get to that in a moment, but, um, yeah. Also, the Aladabra Giant Tortoise. Now, this is kind of a funny story. I kept telling everyone, hey, it's the Aladabra Giant Tortoise. Everyone's like, no, it's the Galapagos. This was just on my social media pages, but, it, yeah, it is the Aladabra. Uh, not surprising. It looks really cool, though. It, it, you know, it's good to have a difference, but I am kind of surprised it was included. We have the Galapagos, and now we have the Aladabra. Literally, the two largest tortoises in the world. If they had a third, maybe they'd go for the third largest, which would be the African Spurred Tortoise. But still, Aladabra Giant Tortoise and Galapagos Tortoise will probably be the only two tortoises at launch to use as actual, you know, free-range animals or tortoises, tortoises, free-range tortoises. Uh, still, I think it's cool. I was not expecting it, but I'm happy to have it. So, Aladabra Giant Tortoise. And now, along with all that, during an IGN live stream, the Indian Rhinoceros was confirmed. I did a video on this. The Indian Rhinoceros does look really good. We got a really cool look at it. Very happy about it. Um, and within that same video, and I was going to do a whole video on this, but I decided to wait. We also got confirmation, because we saw the tags of it, the Indian Elephant and the, my favorite animal in the entire world, the one I've always been wanting, the Okapi, which is amazing to see. I mean, we didn't see it, but amazing to read, uh, read the tags and basically confirm it for the game. Okapis, I'm so happy. And Indian elephant, I mean, that's cool. It's good to have a good variety of elephants, but hopefully there won't be a whole lot like that. You know, we have two different types of elephants. We get like, uh, I don't know, three different types of tigers. Probably not. I don't expect any other types of tigers. I think they're going with more logical animals. You see both Asian and African elephants in zoos common. Actually, I think I see Asian elephants more, but still, Indian elephant, Asian elephant, whatever you call it, very happy about that. Uh, along with all of this, I hope I didn't forget an animal. Probably did. But I don't know. Along with all this, uh, I already did. I already talked about this, but the baby tapir was mentioned on articles, which was has now been taken down, surprisingly. Uh, still, baby tapirs. I wouldn't say this is confirmation because we don't know what type of tapir. There's like four. Uh, it's either going to be the Malayan or Barids. Everyone keeps expecting uh, Malayan, but no, actually, I expect Barids. Uh, still, Tapir is just, it's only a matter of time before we actually see them, but I still wouldn't say this is 100% confirmation. But, uh, yeah, that should be all the animals. Hope to God I didn't miss any. If I really did, I am sorry. This is not a scripted video. Uh, I know all the animals, I just, I think I said them all. Yeah. Anyway, other than that though, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please remember to like button, subscribe. I promise I'll do an analysis of the Frontiers livestream of Scenario 1. It's outdated now, but oh well. And uh, hit the like, the subscribe button. Have a terrific day.